Single photons are individual particles of light, and they're useful not only for studying fundamental physics, but also for transmitting and processing information in extremely powerful ways. So you might think that it's very easy to make single photons. All you do is you take a light bulb and you send a beam of light from that light bulb through a pair of sunglasses. And if your sunglasses are sufficiently thick, then once in a while you'll find that on the other side of the sunglasses you get a single photon arriving. But these photons are randomly distributed in time and that makes them not very useful for implementing any information processing tasks that we might like to do. So instead of that, what we can do is we can use a process called parametric down conversion, which involves generating photons in pairs. And we take a laser that emits a short pulse of light, and we send that into a crystal that allows us to generate new frequencies of light that weren't there before. And if we arrange things carefully, these new frequencies of light are generated at half the incident frequency. And that corresponds to generating pairs of photons at the same time in this crystal. So when our detector over here tells us that one photon has arrived, then we know that there's a single photon ready to be used in our experiment. And we can use those single photons both for studying quantum physics and also for transmitting and processing information.